Welcome to today's live stream. I'm going to get started in a few minutes. I just want everybody to know the stream is going on. Okay, I'm going to get started. And today's topic is going to be simps in the summertime. If anything makes summers absolutely horrible, it is summer to, it's, it's these simps that are out and about during the summertime. Because during the summer, that's when we see a lot of these, uh, lot, it's really hot out there. And a lot of these guys, this is where they start trying to get the attention and approval of women. And when it comes down to a lot of these guys, because a lot of them grew up in these single mother households, they don't have their the male life skills. And they're looking to get the attention of these women in the way a woman would get attention from a man. And when it comes down to these guys, this is the reason why they go out here and start simping in the summertime. Now, summertime simping is some of the worst type of simping because that's when you see all of the dysfunctional behaviors on display. And that's when these guys really start acting real crazy. Now, I'm going to give you some examples of how to identify a summertime simp. And they, in the, in the, in the ghetto, they're easy to identify because they're usually the guy wearing the Timberland Spice Tan boots or the super expensive sneakers. And he's got that on along with his new era ball cap and his sagging shorts and he's got all this stuff on and he's looking to get the attention of all the females on the block and he's thinking that because he's got his fly gear that this is supposed to draw the women to him unfortunately what he doesn't understand is the type of women he's trying to draw the attention of because he'll walk out here with his timberland spice tans his sagging shorts and his large t-shirts or his baseball jerseys and stuff. And what he will do is put on these clothes, not because he likes wearing these kind of clothes. He puts on these kind of clothes because he wants to show that he is some sort of baller. And he wants to show that he's a guy who has the type of resources that will get her attention and has the money to be able to be the kind of guy who can take her to all of the best places. So these clothes he has, they are an attachment to get attention of women. And this is something that they, that the summertime simp puts on to get the, the attention of these women. Now, another thing that your simp has as an attachment in some cases is he'll have one of those expensive iPhones, and he'll be showing that off everywhere he goes. And when he does that, what in addition to those expensive clothes he has on, he's making a target on his back that lets all the female predators know he's out there and know that he's available to be used by women and used as a tool 
to advance themselves. And you'll see him out there again with this iPhone. And in some cases, he'll have on sometimes a pair of expensive headphones. And in other cases, the summertime simp will be out here. And he'll just be playing his cell phone full blast without a speaker. And he's doing that again because he wants to get the attention of all these females out here. And he wants to show, again, that he is a guy with the big money and he has all of the things that the, that would be considered cool for these women. So he's going out here and he's got the, he's got on all this stuff. And he's again, it's attachments to get people's attention because he wants to have that stuff that shows that he has social currency in order to find women who will see him as an asset or someone who has value. Now, Another thing that your summertime simps like to do is they like to drive around in their cars and play the stereo super loud. Now, this is another behavior that your simp participates in during the summertime because this is why you hear all of these booming cars with the booming system is because these simps, they want to get the attention of the women and they want to impress the women by showing that they are some sort of high roller who has enough money to go out here and be able to buy a car and put this four or $5,000 stereo system in it. And they go out here and they'll be out here playing this stereo, driving around, trying to get the attention of women. And what's really funny about it is sometimes these guys, they'll have put so much money into the stereo that they will only have like one or two songs and that's all the music they've got but they'll sit there and be like oh i've got this big stereo i'm trying to impress these women but he doesn't even have the money to go out here and buy more music to go on his in his car and even in some cases he doesn't even have the money to go out here and buy gas to put in the car because usually they have put so much money in the car but they have no money for things like maintenance on the car, or even some cases insurance, because some of these summertime simps, they will be just driving around and around on side streets, hoping to avoid police officers on the main streets. So that's another thing that your summertime simps do in the summer is they go out here driving around with the big car, uh, with the booming system, and they'll be trying to get people's attention trying to make it look like they're cool. But in actuality, everybody sees these guys as the lames they actually are. Because what the big, what makes the simp uh, a lame in the summertime is the fact that he doesn't have, he goes out here and is trying to get people's attention with these attachments and with these type of gimmicks. And that's what really messes them up. Um, hey, Nightingale, Wednesday Nightmare. I don't know if there'll be trolls, but I'm not going to be here that long. I might be here to about 1.30, so I may not be here long enough for the trolls to come get me. Um, hi, Bombboard, The Hobbit. I'm glad to see you here. Hi, Cohen, um, Ja Rules, Rapper 10,000, Dave East, and the summertime simp. This is, this is the guy who just, he winds up becoming a major tool that women use, and sadly, this guy doesn't really see the stuff that gets him messed up. I mean, he's out here and he's thinking that because he sees women on the street, he's out here again, trying to get their attention. And what he doesn't see is that the behaviors he participates in make him a complete mark out of all the females he's trying to get the attention of because usually the stuff he does to get the attention of women, what happens to him is he attracts the attention of female predators by going out here and putting on those Timberland spice tans, running around with his gold chains out and his baggy shorts and trying to look like this image. And all that does is attracts these hood rats and other female predators to him. And those females, what they do is they, 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 they find this guy, they play with his head, and then they use him to get drinks or whatever they want out of him. And then by the fall, they have dumped this dude 
and been on their way. Now, summertime simps, you will see them also outside, not only with the booming system in their cars, you'll also see them standing outside of places like your grocery stores. And these guys will be on the on, it's outside the store from about 6 a.m. all the way to about midnight or 2 a.m. So you'll see the summertime simp out there. And what the summertime simp will do is as he's standing outside the store, what he's going to do is try to call himself hollering at women. And because this guy is so thirsty, he's making all of these thirsty comments towards these women outside of the store. And what is happening is he's thinking that this is going to work for him. But what he doesn't understand is it making him look like a complete joke because all his thirsty comments, all of his thirsty comments, the females are not taking him seriously because they don't see him as anybody they need to regard because if you are a guy that is out is out standing outside of a store, then you're not someone who anybody should consider because anybody who has has a job, they gonna be in they how in they at their job making money, and you're out here just in the heat trying to get females' attention as they're coming in and out of the store, and that really isn't a good look. But the summertime simp, because he is so in his emotions over these females and trying to make a good impression on him on them he will be out here in the heat trying to go get that female's attention and what he does is he, he's thinking he's looking fly but he's really a complete laughing stock and these females they're laughing at him but he's thinking that he's done something that's going to lead to him getting a good impression and these guys will be like hey baby up. Some of them make kissing sounds to the women and they look like a complete joke when they're out here and they don't see how bad they look when they're out here. They're thinking that these thirsty comments and these thirsty behaviors, these are going to make him get that first impression. But well, you have your Dave East here. He's saying, isn't that what 16 to 20 year olds do? No, that's not what they do. Smart 16 to 20 year olds don't have to go and do stuff like that. They don't need to make no thirsty comments. They just walk up to the females they want to talk to, or they see the females who are expressing interest and they do things in a discreet fashion. Now, yes, many teenagers have a simp phase, but the whole thing with the summertime simp is that this guy, he's out here in the summer doing dumb stuff and the dumb stuff really is not a good look on him. And it's just putting a target on his back for all of these females out here. What do I think about them wearing Jordans? That There are guys out there. Yeah, there are guys out here who do be wearing the Jordans. And they do the exact same thing because, yeah, there are guys who wear the Jordans. But they're still summertime simps because they're not wearing them because they like Jordans. They're wearing them to go out here and get attention from women. They want to be able to go out here and use those sneakers to get the eye of females. And that's not what a man does. A man who goes out to buy Jordans, he buys Jordans because he likes Jordans. He likes the way that they fit. He likes the color of them. He likes the way they make his outfit pop. He's not buying them just to get women. But whenever you have a simp, he will go out here and he will buy the Jordans and he's buying them just to get the ladies and hoping that if, if the ladies see him, wearing the Jordans and things like Gucci belts and gold chains. This is going to get the female's attention. And what it does is, again, it puts a target on the simp's back. And the simp, he'll sit there and be like, he's, the, he's thinking he's the coolest guy in the room. But in actuality, these, these females are looking at him and, and sizing him up, thinking about what they're going to get out of him, whether it be two-piece chicken dinners, chicken wings and fried rice, or getting what getting their hair done, their nails done, because they're looking at this guy and they're sizing him up and looking for ways to get paid at his expense. And because he's so eager for some summer romance, he can't see that this woman is getting ready to play a game on him. And this is what happens to a lot of these guys who are these summertime simps. Because summertime simp, he's he's looking, he's looking for that 
summer romance from the easy way, but they don't understand that this, this is how you wind up getting setting yourself up for a big fall. And I've seen this happen almost every summer. I've been here in New York and I've seen so many guys go down this road being the summertime simp and they'll be driving a nice fly car with the big stereo. It's getting all the females attention. And then by the time next spring rolls around, this is the guy asking for 50 cent to get on the bus because he got involved with one of these predatory females. She got a baby by him. And now he had to sell his car in order to get child support. And now he's got he's out here begging 50 cent to get on a bus. And this can happen to you if you're one of these summertime simps out here and you don't have the life skills to understand how you what your approaches just don't work because you can wind up going from driving real nice to winding up getting involved with one of these females out here that you were trying to impress and she can wind up tuning you up to the point where you're asking for 50 cent to get on the bus or in some cases like i used to see in my bronx neighborhood then you getting on the back of the bus trying to evade trying to evade a bus fare because you just sitting up there, you had to go simp on this female, and this female, who you thought was the sweetest thing, has turned into a really, really shrill person who is now extremely difficult and is now wondering how you go, and then you're sitting there wondering how you're going to be able to take care of this kid you got from that summer romance. Um, Devon said these sims can't even afford chicken dinner. <laughs> That's true. They can, some of them can't afford chicken dinner because they spent their last on these Jordans. And yeah, that happens sometimes because some of these guys, they buy more than one pair. What's up, Luciano? They buy more than one pair. And when it comes down to the summertime simp, this is the guy. He'll be in, on the sidewalk licking his um, shoes and trying to keep them white because he's trying to keep them real clean. What he doesn't understand is that you trying to keep the sneakers clean um, by licking them and stuff, that's that's not going to work. I mean, usually smart guys, they'll be like, they have one, if they do go out here and they get, they um, go out here and get Jordans, um, they will have a pair that they wear like for regular, for outside, and then they'll have pairs for dressing up. So they'll have more than one pair. But the summertime simp, sometimes he'll have like one pair and he'll do his best to keep them white and you'll be seeing him licking the shoe in the street or going by the fire hydrant <laughs> with a um, um, with a paper towel trying to wipe down the sides. And they'd be trying to keep keep the sneakers white because they need the sneakers to get the attention of these women out here. And usually they have this is all the only pair that they've got. So they want to make that pair as clean as possible. So you'll see guys out there and that's what they'll do. Same thing with the Timberland Spice Tans that you'll be seeing these guys wearing in the summertime. You see them with the big six-inch Timberlands, which usually dudes be wearing in the winter. You see this guy running around wearing them in the summer, trying to trying to put on that look, and it's just not working because he's, think he's wearing everything for the wrong reason. And you can tell that he's wearing everything for the wrong reason because of his body language, because when it comes down to the summertime simp, he has some extremely weak body language and he'll have his head down, his eyes on the sidewalk if he's standing outside the store. And he'll be trying to, he'll have the clothes to look real fly. But what will happen is he will just not be fly because he don't have no confidence. And that's something that what happens to your summertime simp is he don't have no confidence. And because he doesn't have any confidence, he doesn't have any swagger. And that's why his attempts to impress women wind up coming across as real lame because <laughs> John makes a good point. Yeah. They have the toothbrush too. I mean, yeah, you have the toothbrush on, on the, on the sneakers because what they do is they get the ivory liquid and, or the, um, or the dish soap and <laughs> they, they take the, the dish liquid and they clean the sneakers with the dish liquid. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. If you want to just, you know, you're doing it because you want to keep your shoes um, clean for a long period of time. But when it comes down to the summertime simp, he has to have them shoes extra clean all the time because he's wearing them only because he wants to get the attention 
of <laughs> this woman. That's what he do it. I'm not roasting your wardrobe, man. I'm just saying that this is what they do. I mean, guys who, who dress like this, I'm, I'm not roasting y'all. I'm just saying that the guys who do the simps go out here and they make it bad for everybody else. Because in the summertime, they not dressing because they like to dress. They dress in because they want the female attention and they, they don't know how to get the female attention through things like having masculine presence or masculine energy. So they don't understand, you know, how to be, have, have that confidence to go out here and get the attention of women. This is why you'll see these guys standing outside of places like these stores and trying to do these things like getting, like making these thirsty comments and doing lame stuff, like putting a stereo up super loud and trying to make it sound like a nightclub in the street. And they're doing this stuff because they, they don't know how to go out here and do things that will get them the attention of the women that they like, or they don't even know how to look at the women who actually are paying them attention because in most cases, they're looking at one of these females out here that they shouldn't really be looking at. They're just looking at the wrong woman when there are other, other women who are looking at them and That's what they do. They'd be like out here. And that's what happens with your summertime simps is that these guys, they, they usually do things not because they want to look crisp. They're doing stuff because they want female attention. Now, another thing that makes it bad with the summertime simp is that, is that these guys, they are a real problem because a lot of these guys, whenever they're out, they are very emotional. And whenever you have a summertime simp, he will turn a thing like a barbecue or a party into a, a violent, tragic event. And this is why simping in the summertime can get real dangerous because these guys, when, when they get female attention, they become extremely possessive of women and they become extremely jealous of other men who are in the area who have masculine presence because they fear that those men can take the attention away from them. So these guys are extremely insecure. And when you have your summer time simp out here, what he'll do if he has a girlfriend or if there's a girl that he likes and he sees her talking to another woman, what he's going to do is he's going to get violent. And this violence, again, is a spectrum of violent behaviors because when it comes down to your summertime simp this is a guy he's gonna go whenever he sees a girl that he likes talking to another guy who looks like he's got a shot at getting her phone number or even getting with her what the summertime simp is going to do is he's going to go out here and he's going to do some stuff to either one cock block that guy by spreading rumors and stuff or he's going to try to get violent with another guy. And this is why we have a lot of violence in the streets during the summer, because a lot of these times, these summertime simps, these guys see the girl that they want to get with getting with another woman or getting the phone number of another woman. So the dude will be out here and he's going to want to try to take a swing at a guy or he's going to try to get into a fight with a guy. And if he's starting to get beat by another guy, then what's going to happen is he's going to call himself going to go get his nine millimeters of courage or his switchblade of courage to go out here and take on whoever is getting the attention of the women that he wants. So a lot of times these guys will go out here and they will get themselves, they will start fights with guys. And this is why so many guys wind up getting shot, why the, some guys wind up getting stabbed, and why some guys wind up getting killed because the summertime simp is mad that the woman you want to get with is out here with another dude. And if this guy is dating a woman and she's talking to another guy, that's when we see this guy start to become either a power simp who is just out of control of his emotions, or we see him going out here and being a psycho simp. So a lot of times this guy, he will have his girlfriend out here and he'll have her out here in skimpy outfits or tight outfits. And what he'll do is he'll be 
walk in along the street with her. And yeah, guys are going to look at your woman. If you've got her out here in bikini tops and Daisy Dukes, guys are going to look at her. And this guy, what he's going to do is want to fight every guy who takes a look at this woman. And he's going to want to fight everybody. And that's, that's something that your summertime power simps and psycho simps, they love to do. And the psycho simp, this is the guy, he will go out here and he's going to try to fight people over this woman. And if you're at a cookout or a party or a barbecue, this guy is just going to ruin your event because you guys are sitting up there chilling, you're roasting up food, you're talking about good times. And then here comes this dude and he's all in his feelings because you guys are on the street, you're chilling out. And then all of a sudden he won't, he's mad because somebody looked at his girl or somebody talked to his girl. They might have just asked where a street is and he's going absolutely berserk. And sometimes it, it ends with a fist fight. Other times it ends with a gun gunfight. And it's all because this guy has no control over his feelings and no control over himself. And that's one of the things that makes dealing with the summertime simp a, a nightmare because when it comes down to the summertime simp, he can take a nice summer evening where everybody is just chilling out and he can just turn it into a, 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 a night that just turns into a bloody nightmare because this dude, he just can't control his feelings and they want to go out here and want to fight guys all because either the girl that he wants to talk to and doesn't have the courage to talk to is talking to somebody else. The girl he's with is talking to somebody else, or he's just mad because he's in a situation where he's not getting attention from women that he likes. So what he's going to do, is look to go out here and he wants to fight people all because he's not having a very good night or even a very good afternoon. You guys are just out here on the summertime. Y'all just trying to cool off from the heat. And this guy, he want to start stuff with people. And that's one of the things that makes dealing with the summertime simp a real, a real problem is that you guys are just enjoying yourself. And then all of a sudden he got to go start something. And that's, that's one of the things I can't stand about the summertime is the summertime simp. I mean, he's always, yeah. <laughs> and they always want to start something and they always make, and especially if it's a really hot day someplace. I mean, that's when he's like real heated and he's just, he's just some, he's just a nightmare to deal with. Now, other things that I find to be annoying in the summertime are all, not only the summertime simps, but I also find the things that have to do with ratchet women in the summertime. Now, when it comes down to the ratchet women in the summertime, that's when you you really, you're going to see some things that will make you just want to avert your eyes because I have seen some horror shows as related to some of these ratchet women in the summertime. These women think they look sexy, but they're not sexy at all. And I've seen, you know, these morbidly obese women, they will be out here calling themselves wearing these, um, t these Daisy Duke shorts, and they will look like a diaper. And you will see your, these females out here and they'll be sitting there wearing bikini tops and these short shorts and they, they will be like 200, 300 pounds. And th th this is something that y you don't want to see if you're, if you just ate because it it's absolutely horrific. I remember being on Facebook about a week ago and somebody posted a picture of one of these females when it was getting warm and she was wearing one of these tank tops and a pair of short shorts and she had no bra on. This was like a 250 pound woman. And she thought she was looking fly, but this, this wasn't, this was not, this, this was not a good look. I mean, this, this was looking like, I, I, I just can't, I just, ugh. I mean, this, this is what you're going to see, you know, in the summertime as related to a lot of these females, 
You're going to see them trying to fit themselves, these big women trying to fit themselves in these sexy outfits. And that it's it's just not working. <laughs> it's just like Spirit of Justice said, look like baby Huey. This this is it's looking it's looking real bad. I mean, this this not a good look. And I mean, I see it all the time. And you see this during the summertime. And you better not be eating an icy or a slice of pizza because you're gonna throw up eat seeing this. I mean, th this is and then some of them have the tattoos and. This this is this is not. I mean, I've seen them when I used to go to McDonald's. I used to see them when I go to a pizza shop, and, or the Chinese restaurant. And did this not what you want to see when you out and about? And they 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 think and they looking good. They think they looking good with them diaper shorts on because it it is it's, it's not. I mean, anyway, <laughs> dude said, don't forget the shower. I've seen the shower cap. Yeah, I see the show cap. <laughs> We're up east. <laughs> I mean, that's what you go see. I'm sorry, you go see. I mean, I'll be seeing these ratchet women and in addition to those, you know, those outfits, then you see the feet that look like a hostess fruit pie. I mean, they, they, they're trying to wear the flip flops. They ain't got no pedicure. And you're going to see these feet that look like Mrs. Smith's natural juice hostess intimates fruit pies with all this crust and dust on them. And again, thinking they look and fly. But this this is what you're gonna see uh, at these um at these um on the summertime. You're gonna see this on the street as related to these ratchet women. And again, the, it's not a good look. But they thinking that they are the bomb. And the reason why these women think that they are the bomb is because of these summertime simp's. Uh, guys, if you could get the likes up, I could really appreciate it. You got 45 people in the in the um watching the stream. If you get the likes up, I would appreciate it. If you guys could put up, donate to the super chat, I'd appreciate it. Um, but when it comes down, because we got 45 in the room, if we get 45 um, likes on it, I would really appreciate it. But when it comes down to these ratchet women, yeah, they they they, they look absolutely bad. And again, the summertime simps are the main reason why these females think that they are the best thing since sliced bread. Because when it comes down to these guys, in addition to their thirsty comments, they are sitting there gassing up these women, making them think that they are the finest thing out there. And this is even though they are wearing diaper shorts and these tank tops that look like they're about to bust out of them like the Incredible Hulk. And some of them, yeah, they got the shower cap on, like uh, one of the people in the stream just said. Or they got the weave that in 90 degree weather is smelling like ravioli. And they're all, these guys will have these women thinking that they are the best thing out here. And it's all due to these summertime simps. And these summertime simps, they're sitting there, they're thinking that this is going to lead to some easy romance for themselves. But what happens is it's not going to lead to no romance. It just leads to them winding up in the next year having to pay child support and to asking for 50 cents to get on a bus just to try to go to work or to try to go look for work. Because this guy, he doesn't have the life skills or the social skills to go out here and get the attention and, and go out here and approach women. This is why he starts simping in the summertime. And a lot of them, <laughs> Benny's, Benny says, some of these women look like the juggernaut. Oh, man. <laughs> he is right. They do look like the juggernaut. They look like. Yep. D Devon makes. A, he, well, I've seen quite a few of those with the ashy feet and nasty weaves and stuff right here. 
And here in, in the Bronx, man, I've seen all of that. And that's why I'm talking about it, because I've seen it so much. It's not funny. And these guys, they'll go out here and they'll, they'll make these ratchet women think that they are extremely fly. And they're not fly at all. I mean, some of them, is, is not, it's, it's not a good look. <laughs> Rudy Dog is talking to telling some truth right here. Yeah, the summertime sip meal. Yeah, 50 cent sodas. Doritos, Little Debbie snack cake, crushed out for the black and mild. Don't forget the Marino's ice or the or the lemon ice. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I've seen that. Hot <laughs> Cheetos. But they go down to the McDonald's to get there, and they used to have the dollar menu. Or they would go to a Chinese restaurant and get their chicken wings or fried rice. Or sometimes they get the order of French fries. Stuff that's like real cheap. They go there. Sometimes people go to the supermarket and they go get the ham and the turkey. But a lot of times, you, you know, when the summertime simp is out. And another thing you would see with the summertime simp is sometimes when these guys ain't got no money, they'd be standing outside the store talking about, hey, man, can I get 50 cent? Can I get a dollar? Yeah, I've seen the summertime simps do that too and they would be trying to get money out of out of people so that they can go do things like buy the black and mild or stuff like that they'll be out there trying to go get some money because they, they don't spend all their money or they, they on jordans or they spend all their money on trying to get their phone or trying to get the money to pay for their phone bills so the summertime simp you know you're gonna see him out there trying to get that attention because sometimes these guys, this is how they go out here and they get women that way. They'd be like outside and this is how they get their girlfriends and stuff by appearing to be extremely pathetic. Like some of the summertime simps, they will try to appear extra pathetic. And then the, what happens is the woman will go out here and they'll try to take care of this dude until they, until they get tired of him, you know, and him being so-called trifling. But this is what happens when it comes down to your summertime simp. <laughs> Christopher is talking about old man drinking slits outside the quarter store. <laughs> yeah, I've seen I've seen that, but I see that with Colt 45 around here in the Bronx. Or sometimes they have a Coors. Um, they like those ones. They like the Colt 45, um, old English. Great. <laughs> oh, now you're taking me back. Kennedy fried chicken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you'll see them outside the Kennedy fried chicken because Kentucky fried chicken, just not the same as Kennedy fried chicken. If you live in the hood, you know what Kennedy fried chicken is. So you're going to see that. <laughs> you're going to see that Kennedy fried chicken, man. I mean, that's another place you're gonna see the simp at because a lot of times you can get they can get like one piece of chicken. You see them in the Chinese restaurant talking about, can I get two piece two chicken wings and stuff like that? They be they be trying to get stuff for next to nothing. So that's another trait of the summertime simp and the ratchet female in the summertime. You're gonna see them out there, <laughs> you know, trying to get stuff for nothing and out there at night, you're going to see them, you know, outside when you're coming home from work. So I remember when I was working, I used to see them coming out when I was coming home from work. And, yeah, you know, you're going to see them. And sometimes they'd be parked outside the building um, with these, um, with, the, with the stereo booming and trying to, trying to look at, make it look like they're looking fly. But again, if you was if you was a fly dude, you wouldn't be out here with your car booming. But that's what they do. So that's something that the summertime simp he will do is he'll be standing outside in the car, trying to make it look fly so he can get the attention of women. But the women they're looking at him and they just use him as their own personal Uber that they will drive from one place to the next. And this is something that also happens to your summertime simp is he winds up 
he's thinking that he's the fly guy in the car and he's got the girl in his car with him. But what's happening is, is that she's using him as a personal Uber to take her from place to place. And sometimes she's taking her from one place to another dude's place and he don't even know it. He's thinking that this is going to get him some brownie points with her. But in actuality, she's just using him for a, a personal cab to drive her from place to place. And that's why the guy with the boom car is, in many cases, he's a big lame. He's thinking that, oh, I'm driving this nice car and this is getting me the girls that I want. But the girls are just using him for their own Uber. Oh, Nightingale, um, what if a simp is your Uber or your Lyft? Usually that's what happens to a lot of those guys who have the boom cars or are driving around with their um, cars in the summertime is that they get the attention of women and then the women just use them as their own Uber and Lyft because usually that's what I talked about in the previous video, the, the gynocentric harem. They will just go out here, they'll have the nice car and they'll be driving the guy, the guy will be driving, be driven out driving this girl around and in a lot of cases, she's just he's just driving her around to another dude's house. And he don't even know he's driving her to another dude's house because she'll say, I'm, I'm, I need you to drive me to my auntie's house or my cousin's house. And really, she's driving her to another dude's house. And that can happen to a lot of guys who are out here simping in the summertime because that's what ha they, they don't know what the game is. Thank you, humble servant, for the donation. Really appreciate it. If you guys want to donate to the Super Chat, you can do that, too. Um, but when it comes down to the summertime simp, I just see so many of these guys. They just, they're thinking that they are going to be this fly dude, but they're just winding up being used. And another thing that happens with a lot of these summertime simps is they wind up getting taken advantage of by these predatory women. And they get taken advantage of because they're so caught up in the looks of these females that they can't see how, how what her life is really like. And this is another thing as related to your summertime simp, because he's making thirsty comments and trying to get the attention of women. Usually what happens to the summertime simp is that he will go out here and he will try to holler at women and he'll be hollering at a lot of baby mamas. So a lot of the summertime simps, they will go out here and holler at a lot of baby mamas. And this will wind up getting them into a lot of trouble because when it comes down to your summertime simps, oh my goodness, they will get involved with the baby mama. And then the baby mama will lead to him getting having a fight with the baby daddy. So this is what happens to the summer. He'll get involved. He'll start buying kids ICs and, or taking them out places. Then all of a sudden, like a horror movie character, the baby daddy pops up. And then we have this guy having a fight with this guy, or he possibly winds up getting, either one of them winds up killing each other. Because when it comes down to the summertime simp, this guy is so desperate for female attention that he will just get with anyone who will respond to his, react to his thirsty comments. And this is why he will wind up getting involved with baby mamas. A lot of times, the baby mamas, what they will do, again, if their bodies are halfway decent from after having the kids, they will go and put the Daisy Dukes on, and they'll put on the crop tops and stuff, and they will try to make themselves look as hot as possible in the hopes of attracting the attention of Mr. Simp, and that's what's going to happen. I don't know about that, Devon, but that's disturbing. <laughs> but when it comes down to the, these these guys, they will go out here and they will get involved with baby mamas, and that's what will wind up getting them in some serious hot water. And this all happens because he's just so thirsty for female attention, and because it's the summertime, and a lot of times people, they are off the job, they're on vacation, or the kids are out of school, he's out here and he's just he's just so desperate and so eager. It's just not funny. And the summertime, you will see these guys out here 
<laughs> Y'all crack him here. Dookie stain box. <laughs> yeah, I done seen that. Oh, man. That's another thing you're going to see in the summertime with these simps is a lot of the sagging. I mean, oh, my goodness. You're going to see some sagging. I mean, I mean, I've seen so much sagging. I thought I, I thought I was in a gay male prison. I mean, if you if you in the Bronx, you're going to see these guys sagging their pants down below their waist. And the thing is going to be on their thighs. And these guys think, again, that they look and fly. Not understanding that when you sag your pants, you're sending a message to the world that you are a homosexual, but they're thinking that this is going to impress the women that make and make them look like some sort of thug, when in actuality, you wind up wearing pants that let the world know you're a gay dude and you are available for gay sex. And that's what the guys, they don't understand when they're out here simping like this they're wearing these sagging pants with down on their thighs these boxer briefs showing <laughs> and like rudy was saying they got the dookie stain in the back <laughs> and they're letting everybody know that not that they're a guy who's hot for women but they're letting gay men know that they are available for gay sex and these guys are sitting there and i've seen them and they, they they're wearing this stuff and they're just getting laughed at by the women because this is a signal to other men that they are available for easy access. But you can't tell this to the summertime simp because the summertime simp, he's sitting up there. He's trying to do all this stuff that he sees that's cool in music videos and in TV shows as considered attractive to women when he don't understand that the things that actually would make him look fly, he's not going out here and doing like putting on nice crisp clothes, taking care of yourself. He's not doing this because he wants to do it. He's doing this because he does, he dresses for attention from women. And this is what they do. Summertime stuff. He out here and he's thinking that this is working, but it's not working at all. And usually when most cases, the summertime simp don't find out it's not working until about the time of winter time when he usually finds out that um, he, either he's getting dumped or he's winding up with a baby he has to sell everything for in order to pay child support for because usually a lot of those guys who do have these summertime hookups, it usually does not turn out the way they expect it because what happens with the summertime simp is that he believes that this summer romance is going to be amazing. He thinks it's going to be spectacular. But usually what happens to the summertime simp is that either he winds up getting one of these chicks pregnant or he winds up getting jacked up by either getting played by one of these females or he winds up getting beat down by one of these baby daddies or one of these boyfriends out here. Because a lot of times when it comes down to the summertime simp, he oftentimes winds up attracting the attention of the most ratchet females out here. And this is a big problem with your summertime simp is he will go out here thinking that he's going to be able to get the attention of quality women. But in a lot of cases, all he does is attract a lot of these ratchet women out here. And because he has no standards, he's thinking that he's going to win by Wig getting involved with one of these ratchet women. But what happens is he winds up setting himself up for a big failure. And that's why when I look at the whole simping in the summertime, it, it's one of those things that makes me want to stay off the streets because a, any smart guy, he's going to do his best to stay off the streets in the summertime because when it's hot out there, you don't want to deal with one of these summertime simps because if there's, if you get in the way of one of these females that he wants to get involved with, that's when you're going to have to deal with this guy's emotional behavior, his erratic behavior, and him acting out. Because this guy, he just looks to start trouble with others because he thinks this is going to go out here and impress these females. Because a lot of these guys, they're thinking that putting on the macho and the bravado is going to impress these women. And they want to flex on you. But what happens is, in a lot of cases, these guys don't impress them because when these women see these guys, they just see them as tools that they can use to get themselves 
ahead at their expense. They look at those guys and they say, this guy is just, I'll just use him to take me to um, ride around him or I'll take him to go get some, whatever, like a chicken wings and fried rice, or they take him to get a cell phone bill. They just use these guys and they use them because these guys think that they, they get in somewhere, but in actuality, they're going nowhere. And when I look at these summertime simps, it's just they, they can ruin a, a, a perfectly nice summer evening, a nice summer afternoon. I mean, everybody's like chilling and relaxing. This is the guy rolling up in the big Jeep or he's running around with the iPod um, extra loud. You'll be on a bus trying to get somewhere. Here's this guy he comes in on a cell phone and he's got it playing loud. And I've run into that a couple of times and he's thinking he's the flyest guy in the room, but on the bus, but that that's that that just it just ruins everybody's trip and i've seen that happen so many times and another thing you're going to see um in the summertime is again riding the bus you just don't want to ride a bus in the summertime because it's filled with baby mamas that are looking extra ratchet and it's got a lot of summertime simps out there and these the extra ratchet baby mamas they they are dressed in puke worthy attire again wearing these baby Huey um, diaper shorts, wearing these um, sundresses that ain't fitting right. And sometimes they wearing the sundress that ain't fitting right and they don't have good hygiene and they can turn a bus ride into something that smells like a can of sardines because these females, they don't take care of themselves and they be on the bus and it is it's it's not a, it's not it's not good i mean these juggernaut sized women wearing a sundress and sometimes it it, it 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 i can tell you the scent been on a bus it is it, it, the scent it's it's not something you want to smell on a bus but that's what you have to deal with if you're on a bus or a train out here and <laughs> Greenest Ganja was he made a point. He's like, he's a, uh, I mean, yeah, they will put the cell phone on in places extra loud everywhere, and you will you will be sitting up there. And um Nightingale, yeah, TLC was talking about simps too in that song. Because when it comes down to a lot of the scrubs, these guys are simps um because they come from that submissive position. A lot of these guys are mama's boys. Um, Corey, I'm not only talking about the Bronx 19, but I'm also talking about the Bronx 1, the Bronx 2, Bronx 15, and most possibly Bronx 40 and 42. I've been on a lot of buses, and yeah, I've been on these buses with the with that with that scent and with these females who them outfits. <laughs> If you see them, you're going to be like, man, I, I wish I had not seen that because I have seen some stuff on these buses in the summer. And these females, again, they think they are the flyest thing out here. And they are not. It, it's, it's not a good look when you see these females out here, you know, dressed like this in these in these outfits. Another thing I'd be seeing in the summertime with these ratchet women again, is the leggings. And a lot of them, they try to wear the leggings and think that the leggings are super thin. And the, the leggings are so thin, you can actually see their underwear behind them. Because I was, I remember being in the Bronx a couple of years ago, I was going on doing some errands and I was walking behind this female and she had on leggings so thin that I could actually see this the line the um color of this woman's panties and I wasn't looking for that but she had the, the thing was so thin and it was it was like that's what they do and some of them they they will go out here and not look at not put their hand in the material to see if the material is some is is where they can see through it and what happens is you get a sight of their underwear as a result and I remember one time you know, a woman put on it was walking out there in one of these knit dresses in the summertime, and she had one on so thin you could see the 
color of the woman's thong. And again, this is what the rash of women do because they're thinking that this is looking fly, but they're not really taking a look out there at themselves. And this female, she was wearing this dress and she, you could see the color of her, of her thong behind it. And you could see that she had no bra on. And again, wasn't taking a look at herself and seeing how this is looking. Just like the woman I saw in the Facebook picture had no bra on and was wearing a tank top. And you could see the, the outline of her own, you could see the outline of her body in these, in this outfit, all because that all because they they want to they want to call themselves trying to look cool but they looking looking real bad and it's it's just it's just not a good look because this is what happens in the summertime but i it's just something you know that you 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 just you just have to learn how to look and then not look because if you let it burn in your memory it's going to traumatize you because this is the type of stuff you see the ratchet women wearing in the summertime, and they don't understand that this is not a really good look as related to how you're supposed to present yourself out there. I mean, when you go out here and you buy clothes, you're supposed to, you know, put your hand into the wardrobe, like in between the, the clothes, and, and you're supposed to put your hand in there to see if you can see through it. If you can see through it, it's too thin. A lot of these chicks, they don't look at to see if it's too thin. They're just putting it on thinking that it's just fitting, but they don't understand how it's looking. And what ha what's happening is everybody's getting a show of your body, and they're getting that show because you're not taking the time to really, you know, think about how you're looking out there. Oh, Leroy, that's really bad. Skid mark thong. Yeah, that, that happens. Yeah, that happens, Devon. Yeah, they be out here. They, they think that they are hot stuff because the simps gas them up. And they'll be out there all fat and sloppy thinking that they're looking good. And again, summertime simps gas them up. And then they think that they're going to get all this, that, that they're better than what they are. And they really, there are things you just don't want to deal with them with as related to places like the bus. Oh, my goodness. And places like fast food restaurants. Oh, I, I mean, I've been, I have seen some things that I wish I had not seen. And that's why I dread the summer coming because summertime, it's just simps make summertime bad and ratchet women in the summertime make it worse. And the combination of the two of them, they, they can just make you just go, ugh. Philip Boyd talks about we're worse in the South with simps and hood rats in the summertime. Smell like a concoction of Newports, Black and Miles, Rotten Shetland. <laughs> oh, that that's that that's almost as bad, bad as here, where you have the where it smells like a combination of that sweat and ravioli. I mean, it's just it's just some it, you in for some some nightmares, and people don't know you know, how bad it can be when you're out here in the summertime, you know, with these ratchet women and these simps. And you can just be, again, having a good time. You know, you're going to go get your food. Like you go to the pizza shop or you go to the Chinese restaurant to go get your food. And they will wind up coming in there and they just come in there with these crazy outfits. And it's like, first you got to look at them and then they start talking because summertime simp, this is the guy, he'll come in a Chinese restaurant and he'll be sitting up there talking about he wants some chicken wings and fried rice. And then he'll say he wants his wings fried hard. And then he'll be yelling at people and barking at people. And then if you order after him, what happens is you get your Chinese food all messed up. And then he comes out here and, because a lot of times these people in Chinese restaurants are very passive aggressive. And they'll make your food in a jacked up way because they have to deal because they because this guy coming in tomorrow. I want my wings for a hard. Maybe coming in there like that. And I'm um, sorry you had to deal with that Nightingale Wednesday nightmare. Um, but that's that's like the smell of the bus um, when you um, in the summertime because a lot of these chicks again they don't have really good hygiene. I mean, it smells like it. it, it ugh. 
fish, there's a cheese. Oh, it, it's just, it's just, it's a, it's, it's the worst smell you could ever deal with because, again, these women don't take care of themselves. They don't have good hygiene. A lot of them don't know how to clean certain parts of their body. So this times, um, that's what that's what happens when you're on the bus. But that's what happens when you go to Chai's restaurant. Um, yeah, they they'll come in there yelling and talking about how they want their wings fried hard or how they want a two piece or how they want, you know, your wings chopped up and be like, one well, more wings chopped up, man. And they come in all loud and stuff. And then when you come in there, you just want to come in and just get your stuff. And then the Chinese people wind up jacking up your food or you go to a chicken joint, they wind up jacking up your food. But sometimes a pizza shop would be the, like the best place we can get some food in the summertime where you don't have to deal with these type of people. But Whenever you go in any fast food place behind them, the, the sim summertime simps just you're not going to get no good service if you get served before them. But you're not going to get no, um, you know, good service because these guys, the, the, the staff workers get passive aggressive and then they take it out on you. So I always hated going out, you know. Because this guy comes in, he's acting a fool. And you're not getting what you want because he came in like that. So I've, I've seen that happen sometimes when it comes down to these summertime simps. And that's one of those things that, like, I always try to go to a restaurant early because if you go, like, after 3 o'clock or 3.30, that's when you're going to see – that's when you have the trouble with the summertime simp. And the summertime simps usually come out about 3 o'clock, 3.30 um, on the weekends. And that's when you see the dude with his shirt off. Um, with the pit bull and trying to look like he's tough and he's trying to be Mr. Tough Guy. And I've seen also, you know, summertime, simp, he'll be standing outside the store with the pit bull off the leash, trying to look like Mr. Tough Guy with his Timberland spice tans and his sagging pants. And he's standing there with the pit bull trying to look extra fly, but he's looking like a joke because people just looking at him like, if he was all that, why, why we would not be standing outside of this store. So you just like guys who are all that and can go out here and do stuff. They out here doing stuff. Their weekends is out. They, cause they, they're not going to be out here just trying to just stand out on a street just for the sake of standing out on the street, trying to get the attention of women. They out here doing stuff and the women are coming to them. That's what the simp doesn't understand. And that's why he winds up attracting the attention of the ratchets because <laughs> they love the attention of the ratchets. They want to get the attention of the ratchets. And this is why these guys get set up by these ratchets. They be staying outside store again with a, with a sagging pants with a pit bull that's and trying to get attention from women or they're standing outside the rest Chinese restaurant, you know, trying to go and do things like asking for 50 cent and stuff. That's another thing I used to run into with the summertime simp. And that's why I always try to get and go out and leave, you know, a little bit earlier because if you go out after three o'clock or so, you're going to see the summertime simp in the Chinese restaurant. And he's going to be like, can he get 50 cent or can he get a dollar? And we all know what he's going to use the 50 cent or the dollar for. And what he's going to use the 50 cent or the dollar for is he's going to try to go get himself a black and mild and a nickel bag and he's going to try to smoke up so that's why he'll be out here begging for that change is that he hopes to get enough change to go get him a nickel bag and trying to get that attention from women he's thinking that he's going to look fly but he's a laughing stock Oh, yeah, I, I remember that, Devon. Um, that's right. That was with my old neighborhood. Um, yeah, the Arab stores would be selling these guys weed. And, yeah, they'd be out there begging the customers for money. Yeah, and I, I've seen that. I mean, I remember one time I was taking a family member to the bus, and there was a guy who was standing outside this Spanish bakery, and he was begging for change. And eventually he got enough money. He walked in the Arab store, got himself a bag of weed, and left. And that's what you're going to see. If you out here,
in the summertime, you're going to see these guys um, begging for that, for the, for the 50 cent, begging for a dollar. And some of them talking about they want to get something to eat. And I've seen that all throughout, you know, the Bronx as I've lived for 45 years, seen that a lot. Guys just, can I get a dollar? Can I get 50 cent? And sometimes the guy will talk to him. Like I remember one time I was coming out of Yankee stadium train station and a dude was like, he was asking 50 cent and he asked me and my family member 50 cent. But then we said we didn't have it. And another dude, he tried to pull that on him and he said, well, let me take you to the restaurant. And then the guy said, no, nah, I don't want you to take me to the restaurant. I just want the money. And we all knew what he wanted the money for. We all knew he wanted the money to go get him that bag of weed. And we know he wanted to get that black and mild. And we knew he wanted to smoke up. So we knew what was going on with dude. And you're going to see a lot of that in the summertime. And what's really funny is you're going to see these guys in the summertime. And they will be dressed in those brand new Spanking Timberland Spice Tans, $300 Gucci belt, or a pair of Jordans with that $300 Gucci belt and those designer shorts. And this dude is going to roll up on you and ask you to give him 50 cents. So you're going to see that a lot when it comes down to these summertime simps. You're going to see this with these dudes. They're going to be out here talking about, can I get 50 cents? Can I get a dollar? And they coming up to you dressed in the finest. And that's so hilarious to me because you're looking at dude and saying, dude, you got on $250, dollars $300 sneakers, $200 boots. You got on $80 shorts. You got on like a $100 shirt and you got on gold chains. And sometimes these guys would have the gold grill. Yet you go ask me for 50 cents. So you look at this guy and you go, you got all this on. And you you don't you trying to ask me for stuff, and you won't ask me for fifty cent, and they don't see how this is not a good look. They're just trying to do this, and they're thinking that this is going to make them impressive. It's like no, you looking like a joke right here, and this is what the summertime simps be doing. They thinking that this is this is a good look, and it's not a good look because again, real ballers don't have to ask for fifty cents. Real ballers have the dollars to be able to take care of their own business. So I've seen that a lot here in the Bronx. And it's, it's another sign of this simping in the summertime when you see these dudes, you know, looking extra nice. Sometimes it's like, and they asking you for money to get on a bus and it's not, it's not looking good. And it's like, that's not what a man does. And it's like, again, shows where the, where these guys come from as related to these single mother households and the how where they were raised. Because, um, oh, Chris asked about the role of money simp. Yeah, you're going to see him, too, in the summertime. And I've seen him quite a bit, too. This is the guy with the role of money. And he's out here. He'll be in the fast food restaurant pulling out them 50s and them 100s. And in a in a place like a Chinese restaurant or one of these little um places like McDonald's or Burger King, and trying to look like a baller again, you you will see the roll of money simp in the fast food restaurants, and you will see him out here trying to get attention from women, talking about he he'll pay for people's meals and stuff, just like that guy who sadly wound up losing his life. You'll see the roll of money simp out here, and you'll see him all the time. Sometimes you'll see him in a store. And he'll be in a supermarket and the female will be behind him, be short. He'll be talking about how he can cover it and stuff. And yeah, you're going to see that roll of money simp out here too, because he's a major part of the summertime simping. You're going to see him in the, in the grocery store where he's again, rolling out here with them fifties and hundreds. And this, this is something that they do in the summertime because they want to impress the women out here. They'll be pulling out that roll in the hopes uh, that females will see them and what will happen. Um, Joshua, thank you for the donation. Should I approach white women 20 and up with higher sexual market value or higher status sex relationships? Um, how much make, how much I make? It doesn't matter how much you make. If you have the confidence, you can just go for it with any woman. If you want to approach whatever woman you want to approach, you just go out here and do it. I mean, it's, it's not is you have to have the confidence to just go talk to her. And that's what and if she responds, she responds. That's that's just how it is. 
because when you are confident, you don't you don't really care about her status because you are the prize. You are the one with the value. And she is going to see you as somebody she wants to be a part of, because when it comes down to women, they want a man who's going to take charge and be a leader. And all you have to do is just go out here and talk to her. And if it goes, it goes. If not, it's not. It's just you have to have the confidence to go take that risk. And yeah. Oh, I, I don't, well, I don't buy a lot of fast food from Burger King. I usually buy mine from local places for after 10,000. Um, if they're encouraging people to throw shakes at people, then I may not go bother with them anymore. Um, yeah, Leroy, that happens. A lot of the simps, what they will do is, again, they will ask you for 50 cent and then they'll be counting their roll and that's how they get, that's how they make their money. A lot of times they... They will sit there and hustle people for all their money, and you be sitting up there giving them fifty cent. And this guy, at the end of the day, it's like he's got two, three hundred dollars because he acts enough people on the street, and he's getting paid at your expense. Um, Taylor, basically, a simp has their priorities backwards. Yeah, they they are. They're extremely immature males, and because they're extremely immature, what happens is these guys they don't know how to be men. They don't know how to do things like men do. And that's why they're out here participating in this extremely goofy behavior. And that's why they're out here making themselves to be complete fools out here. So you will see the simp out here in the summertime. And he's just, he thinks that these women are gold, but really he really wants to get to, he wants to get to them so he can get these opportunities to have sex with them and that's what they that's what they're looking for in the summertime some of them are are, are really desperate and again their behavior is something to behold i haven't heard about a rapper at ten thousand, but i will look into that story about burger king um i i had burger king about two weeks ago um but if that's the case i'm going to leave it alone but when it comes down to your summertime simps, these guys, they, they, they are really thirsty. They are extremely desperate. And they can go out here and, again, they can really ruin a great summer day or a great summer evening because they, of the things that they do and the, things that they, the behaviors they participate in. And there's nothing like simping in the summertime because – when you see simps in the summertime, their their behavior is off the chain, and they're the main reason why these ratchet women out here participate in the crazy behavior they participate in, because the summertime simps gas these women's heads up, make them think that they're more than what they are, make them think that they're better than who they are, and make them think that their behavior, out-of-pocket behavior, is perfectly fine. Because it would be the summertime simps out there that when you see two of these women fighting each other like a pair of grizzly bears, they'll be out here. They'll be fighting like grizzly bears. He'll be the one egging that stuff on. And he'll be out here, you know, instigating this stuff. Because you'll see two of these women in any fast food restaurant or on the street. They will be fighting each other, and it will be, again, like two grizzly bears or two silverbacks fighting each other, depending on the size of them. And you'll be seeing hands flying and we flying, and it's all because these guys encourage these women to participate in these behaviors. And it's all because these guys, they go out here, and they let, they, they're the ones saying that this is good for them, and they're getting some sort of pleasure out of it because they'll sit there and they, they encourage it to go on. A lot of these summertime simps, they encourage, you know, a lot of the fights you see on the street between two women and they, they will have them brawling over stuff. And sometimes they'd be brawling over these summertime simps because a lot of times these simps, they, they, they don't, they don't, they, they'll sit there and they'll be fighting over, over these guys because They'll be thinking that, oh, this guy cheated on them. But, but a lot of times it's just these women, they, they don't really make very good choices. And 
they wind up getting involved with all sorts of dudes like these summertime simps out here. Yeah, I see that a lot here in the Bronx, Leroy. I see that a lot. Um, yeah, they be fighting with the baby daddy. You'll see the fights with the baby daddy. And you'll see the, the them fighting with the baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> we used to be dead appeals, let her help. Yeah, you're gonna see that. I mean, that's why I do the did the whole video series season of the simp because it's it's again like a real life horror movie. And yeah, Greenest Ganja too was talking about yeah, they they this the roller money simps do that. Yeah, they will be flashing the wad while they're on at the date, the fast food place. And what's funny about that roll of money is it's not a roll of hundreds. It's actually a roll of one dollar bills with maybe a fifty and a hundred around it. <laughs> a lot of women will sit there and look at the roll of money and they'll think it's a it's a big wad, but it's not a big wad of actual bills. It's a roll of maybe a bunch of ones and and maybe um a hundred ones and maybe a twenty, a couple of twenties. A couple of tens and a couple of fifties. Yeah, you go, you're gonna see that. That's what that's what the roll of money is. But the simp will sit there. He'll use the roll of money to bait the females, and the females will sit there and think that this guy has all this money, but he ain't got all that money. If he had all that money again, he would have a debit card. And a guy with a debit card, he's gonna be sitting there. That's the guy with the money because he's got money in the bank. But the roll of money simp. A lot of people think that he's got all this money, but he has next to no money. I mean, a lot of people be thinking that the roll of money simp is a high roller, but no, he's 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 really a weak sauce dude because again, the dude with the real cash is the one who has the money in the bank, and so and he's the guy with, who's going to work every day. So that's the guy with the money, not the roll of money simp who is out here on um, bomb board. Yeah, George Jefferson was a big time simp. And he was a he was a, he was a big guy trying to show off, trying to impress people, and that's why he was never got got any respect because he was trying to brown nose and bootlick Mr. Whittendale and the Jeffersons, and that's why he that's why he was a complete joke. Um, Corey, everybody does that. They they when you just have to stand back and laugh at some of them, um, like at like uh, when you see it. Because, yeah, it is funny and sad at the same time. It's funny when you're watching it, but it's sad that a lot of these guys don't learn. It's like when I was doing the roast on that college professor, I was trying to trying to educate him on stuff, but he wasn't really picking up on what I was trying to tell him. I was like, I was trying to help him out, and he didn't want to get it. And what's really sad is these guys never learn. It's like two, three, four times. It's like they're getting burnt by these females, and these guys – um, get played all the time. And it's like, you want to help them, but they can't get no help. It's like, I was trying to refer stuff to him, but he didn't want to hear it. So that's what happens to a lot of these guys, especially during the summertime. They don't want to hear from other guys because they're so in their feelings about women that they wind up getting played by those same women who these guys are trying to tell them that they are, that they, that the, their approaches just ain't working. Um, Mojo King is making a good point. Yeah, the simp doesn't realize she's community property and it's not his turn to ride because, yeah, a lot of these guys who are summertime simps, yeah, they get involved with the women who been around the block two, three times. When it comes down to a lot of these summertime simps, they will get involved with these females who everybody has had a turn on. And he's he's usually in some cases mad because it's not his turn to get with her. It's like, he thinks that it's his woman, but what he doesn't understand is that when it comes down to a lot of these community women, they, they it's not just not your turn. And would you really even want to turn that with a female who everybody has had a shot at? But when it that's that's what he's not thinking about. All he's thinking about is he's so caught up in her look and he's so caught up in his feelings about her that he can't see who she really is, which is the community um, pussy that every guy gets. And he can't see that because he's just so caught up in his feelings about her. He doesn't understand 
that she will never be your woman. She's just your turn. And you're just hoping that you can get any the thing is that he's mad at is that other guys are getting turns with him. Um, thank you, Osiris. I was I was trying to help Dr. Farley, but Dr. Farley wasn't listening. I was trying to give him some advice. Um but he wasn't hearing it, and it's sad that he got scammed out of $50,000 from a Russian bride, and he doesn't see that the problem is that he has these really bad approaches to getting involved with women, and he's looking for an easy way to get with women, and that's why he got involved with a Russian bride. He was like looking to get on this online dating, but every guy out here, we all know online dating is complete garbage. I mean, online dating is how you get set up by these female predators out here and how you get used by these female predators. I mean, online dating is what guys do when they don't have confidence because they don't want to go out here and take rejection. So when I listened to this Dr. Farley, he was like talking about how he was using online dating. And I was like, you, you have a doctorate in mathematics. You are, you are a celebrated college professor. You don't need to use no online dating. A guy like you, if you dress right and get your confidence right, the women will be coming to you. And this guy, because he didn't have confidence or self-esteem, he was winding up going on online dating. And that's why he got taken for $50,000. And I sat there and I tried to refer him to Stop Simping and Misadventures of Captain save -a but he didn't want to take those books and learn from those books like people all over the world wound up doing. They took those books and they learned from those books and they wound up learning from them as a, how to deal with women and how to deal with interactions with women. Because I looked at him and I immediately saw what had happened here. And I saw that he was like one of these Captain Savums and he was trying to... Um, get involved with one of these women where he was going to pull her out of this country and try to save her by giving her the American dream. But she wound up turning it into an American nightmare by going out here asking to buy stuff and asking to get stuff. But that's what your Russian brides do. They, they want to get resources out of the guy. And he doesn't understand that, yeah, he lost 50 grand, but he could have lost more. He could have lost his life. He could have lost, because a lot of these women, what they do is they take out insurance policies on these guys, and then they murder them. Or she could have wound up getting him on the baby with the child support, and he could have got tuned up real bad. <laughs> Rudy Dog, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's so it's Declines, purchases, or prepay me some of it. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that be happening. <laughs> oh, 50 cent tasty cake. <laughs> he said, I mean, yeah, that be happening. On the, they had the rush card, and I'll be seeing that happening too. It's like with the 50 cent tasty cake. <laughs> Or they be coming in there, and it's like coming in there trying to get the sandwich, and that they ain't got enough money. Yeah, that's the summertime sip. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Patrick. Um, when it came down to that, um, that um, doctor, he could have gotten escorts with that money, or he could have got a doll for fifteen hundred. I mean, he could have got a lot of different things. But when it comes down to simps, they want a relationship. They want this drink, American dream. They have this fantasy in their head of this female they want to have this dream relationship with. And what happens is because they are too caught up in their dreams, they just can't see the realities about women out here. And this is why guys like them get played because they don't really understand how things go. Now, this guy, he not only is going to get played by this Russian bride, I believe he's going to get played by more females out here. And I think he's going to get more women taking money out of his pocket. Because when it comes down to these simps out here, a lot of times they don't want to learn and they don't want to take heed to a lesson a man is trying to teach them. Because a lot of times these guys have issues with men and male authority. So I understood 
what was going to happen to this dude. I just wanted to try to help him, but he didn't want the help. So I was like, okay, you don't want the help. Okay, whatever happens to you, happens to you. I offered you links to my books, Misadventures of Captain Savaho and Stop Simping, but he didn't want the advice. So I said, okay, you will just have to learn the hard way. And when it comes down to a lot of these simps out here, they have to learn the hard way because they're out here participating in this goofy behavior like a lot of these summertime simps be doing. And they will just wind up getting themselves jammed up because these guys, they don't understand um, what they're doing and they don't understand why the stuff isn't working. And when I look at them, I'm like looking at them and saying, you know, you are doing here participating in this goofy behavior. You thinking you're the flyest dude in the room when in actuality, most of these females are just using you as some sort of tool. <laughs> yeah, that happens, Green Sconja. Yeah, after he helps her out of a financial crisis, that's when they will break the news that he has a child. Well, when it came down to that other simp, what happened was he gave her $3,000 to go back to Russia. But what has happened is he's still married to her. So if she decides to file for a divorce, she can just jack him up extra nice because she's still married to him. And on top of that, she took all his furniture out of his house. And that, that's all that happens to these guys. They get, they get played. But then the sad part is they get played over and over again. They never understand that the person making the stake isn't the woman. The person making the mistake is them. Yeah, it's hard to have sympathy for a lot of them, Obsidian. But a whole thing is you can try to just teach them. It's like, okay, I can give you the knowledge, but if you choose to use it, that's on you. Oh, we got 50 likes today. Um, that's awesome. We got 61 in the chat. 62 in the chat and 50 likes. Let's get those likes up on this one. Um, 63. Wow. We've got a lot of people watching this one. Um, but these summertime simps, they just don't see how their behavior leads to them having a bad fall and a nuclear winter because the stuff that they do in the summertime winds up messing them up really bad in that, in that tragic fall and that nuclear winter because they will go out here and make these get involved with these females. And what will happen is the female, in some cases, will get pregnant. And a lot of times, it may not be his baby. Because oftentimes, because these guys are trying to get involved with these community pussy women, what happens is these females wind up being involved with three, four other guys. And they will wind up get going out here and they will wind up getting this, one of these guys will get this woman pregnant. And then what will happen is they will wind up in a situation where it's DNA drama. And sometimes these guys wind up on Maury and then they find out that they are not the father. And that's what happens to a lot of these summertime simps. But sometimes they just wind up being taken, a lot of times they wind up being taken to child support court. And because they don't know how to get DNA tests, what happens is these guys wind up on the hook for child support. And as a result, they have to wind up, if they have that booming system or that big stereo in their house, they have to sell that stuff to pay for child support. And that's how they wind up becoming the dude in the wintertime wearing out there with the Air Jordans on, talking about, hey, man, can I get 50 cent for the bus? Or the guy trying to trying to jump on through the back door, because that's what happens to those guys. They call themselves going out in the summertime trying to get with females, and then the females wind up playing them because they're just too thirsty. And yeah, Josh, they do wind up getting killed. They wind up killing women in jealous rages, and that's also how they get locked up. Okay, Ja, I will um, I'll talk to you. Yeah, I did talk about body language and facial expressions to gauge a woman's interest level. Um, yeah, the, the body language you're going to look for if you want, and facial expressions is usually when a woman is smiling, she'll have an enthusiastic smile, and that smile will not just come from her 
lips. It'll come from her eyes. And when it comes down to a woman's scent, a lot of times a woman's body will radiate a scent if she's attracted to a man. So if she's attracted to a dude, she's going to radiate a pleasant scent from her own body that will let you know that she is interested. Because I've, I've been around women and they will they will let you know if they're interested. And sometimes they will play with their hair. They'll play with their jewelry. They'll sit close to you. And these are things that women will let do that will let you know that she's interested and she will maintain that eye contact with you. And that'll let you know. And then a lot of times she will be touching you. And that's another major thing is that when she's touching you, because women are emotional, they, they touch people that they like. And when they really are into somebody, they are going to touch you a lot. And when you touch them, they're going to want to go out here and they'll get excited about that because when you touch them, that means that they, they, they feel that connection with you and they want to have a deeper connection with you. So when it comes down to women, when they are interested, they will let you know. And a lot of simps, they're so busy trying to get with a woman that looks like something that they want, that they're not thinking about those nonverbal cues that women are expressing out here to a guy to let him know that she's really interested in Josh, right? They show you that smile that shows teeth and they're going to show you that smile with their eyes. So that when you look at their eyes, their eyes are going to smile at you too. When they, when they make an eye contact with you, it's not just a smile with the face because there's different smiles. There's a pasted on smile that people make. And then there's an enthusiastic, passionate smile where it's going to let you know, yeah, she's, she's really into you. And again, that, that scent is going to come across because it's when, you, when, when women put on perfume, it's just not perfume um, that, that makes a scent. It's the scent mingling with their natural body odor, and their natural body odor is going to um, become more pleasant if they feel comfortable around you or they're feeling attracted to you. So their body is going to radiate a scent that's going to let you know that they are attracted to you. So... That those are those are all cues you know to, to look for, and sometimes when a woman wants to initiate contact, she will look at you and she will look at you and then smile real quick. And again, that's just to let you know, yes, I am interested. And what she wants you to do is make that move on her so that you will come have an invitation to engage. And I put a lot of that in, in like the novel Spinsterella. I wanted a lot of, I did, I put that, it was a romance novel, but because uh, when I looked at romance novels, I didn't like the way they were. They always talked about, you know, how the woman wants this rich man. But with this Spinsterella, I wanted to show how women use nonverbal social cues and nonverbal cues and body language to let a guy know that they're interested. So that's something a lot of guys, they're not looking for because when it comes down to a lot of simps, they get all their ideas about romance and relationships primarily from movies and TV, and they don't really understand how things actually are out here as related to relationships and getting attention from women. So the summer and in the summertime, you have the summertime simp and the summertime simps, again, they, they're looking to get love, but oftentimes they're caught up in their lust. And because they're caught up in their lust, what happens is this is what leads to them winding up with a target on their back and winding up with them getting played by these females out here. And I wanted to go in depth talking about these summertime simps and the behaviors they participated in, because when it comes down to the summertime, a lot of guys, they want to go out here. They want to be able to get with women. They want to be able to get real opportunities with women, but their approach winds up messing them up. And because their approach winds up messing them up, they wind up getting involved with female predators and these female predators wind up taking advantage of them. And I don't want to see guys getting taken advantage of by these uh, type of females out here, these ratchet women. And I don't want to see um, ladies get played by a lot of these summertime simps because a lot of the times when it comes down to these summertime simps, these are the guys who wind up becoming baby daddies in the winter, which is with the nuclear winter, because it's usually this is where a lot of these baby daddy, these kids who come from baby mamas wind up getting conceived because they get involved with these females who are offering this community sex. And these guys, they don't know that 
This is not their woman. It is just their turn. I'm going to get ready to wrap this stream up. And I thank everybody for being here. And if you want to learn more about the dysfunctional behavior of simps, you can pick up my book, Stop Simping, Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance on Amazon.com in ebook and paperback formats. And you can pick up the other books in the simp series, Manginas, They Look Like Men, But They Act Like Ladies, The Misadventures of Captain save -Ho, Why 70% of Black Women Are Single, and The Man Crisis on Amazon.com. And I'm trying to raise funds to pay for the next ISIS graphic novel. And if you could donate to the Patreon, I would really appreciate it. Thank you all for coming to the stream. I'm going to leave a link to the Patreon in the... And I hope you all will be there for Friday's stream. I'm still trying to figure out what the topic for Friday's stream is. And again, I thank you all for coming to the stream. And if you want to learn more about simps, you can pick up my simp series books on Amazon.com, Smashwords, Barnes & Noble, and the iBookstore. Thank you all for coming to the stream. And I hope you can be there for Friday.